Good morning again. Still out here on the cliff path. You know, there's an old saying that folk who come from London like to use, if you grow tired of London, you grow tired of life. Well, to be honest, there have been times when I have grown tired of London, but I've never tired of life. But I tell you, if you grow tired of Hermanus, then you really are tired of life. So, Genesis 1, yesterday, um, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Very first verse of the Bible. Do you remember what the very first words were that God spoke? I think we all know that. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. So he separated the light from the darkness. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. That is magical. It's poetry. But then the Bible is like that. God said, let there be light. Imagine in this place, complete and total and utter darkness. Nothing. And into that darkness, you suddenly hear a word, a voice speaking. Let there be light. I love to imagine of God as light, in, him, in whom there is no darkness whatsoever. Twelve years ago, I, I went with a couple of my friends up Kilimanjaro. It was very much a, a quest for God. I wanted to meet God. I wanted to know more about Him. I'd been a minister for, for many years, and yet there was just a sense that I needed to know God more deeply. So a friend of mine, Michael Louie, invited me to join him, a number of other folk going up Kilimanjaro. And it was tough. It was a quest, as I said, a quest for God. And I wondered what it was going to be like to get to the top. Well, Pentecost Sunday, uh, 2007, uh, at about half past eight in the morning, I got to Uhuru Peak beauty, light, like I have never, ever experienced it before. Light, unimaginable. I couldn't quite make up my mind if it was spiritual light or whether it was natural light. And I fell on my knees and I put my forehead in the snow. And then a word of scripture came to me, which has been very much part of my faith ever since. God is light. And in Him, there is no darkness at all. Hermanus is a place of light, natural light. Sometimes I think there is a spiritual light that, that kind of lingers over this place, especially on the cliff path. If you're struggling with darkness and the shadows that cast themselves across your path, just remember that God is light. He loves you. And Jesus says, I am the light of the world. He or she who follows me will have light and will not walk in darkness. So, today, Tuesday, just remember and reflect that God is light and that his first words were, let there be light. And that he says, let there be light in your life and mine. Go outside today and just experience the light. And remember that he is light. God be with you. We'll see each other tomorrow again.